friends. Um, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, I'm Mrs. Gates and I'm going to do your phonics today. So, um, remember a while ago you guys sent in a, um, an application for a construction company? Guess what? They sent back a message for you. So I'm going to play it really fast. So here we go. This is the VLC Construction and Demolition Company. We received hundreds of applications for this position and reviewed each one carefully. Of all the applicants, the second grade team at your school stands out. We are impressed by your attention to detail, your knowledge of how words work, and your ability to persevere through big, long, and complex words. We would like to hire you for this job. Oh my gosh, you guys, how exciting. You guys are being hired for this job. But wait, you guys, there's more. So keep listening. We need you to lead our new vowel task force. As you know, vowels can be the hardest part of building words. We know your team of word builders can handle big challenges. We'll be in touch shortly with more information about your assignment. Congratulations. We look forward to working with you. Wow, you guys, this is super exciting. So um, if you don't know, a task force is a special team of people that work on something together. And it usually is to solve some sort of problem. And they were saying in the message that um, the problem that we're going to be working on has something to do with vowels. And you guys know that vowels can be super tricky. Um, like sometimes a vowel at the end of the word, like in the word happy, it sounds like E, but it's actually the letter Y. And sometimes when you hear a long I sound, like in the word might or kite, they can be spelled two different ways. Those tricky vowels, right? So why don't we take a little bit of time today to plan for what we'll do when we run into confusing situations with our vowels. So today, what I wanna remind you is that sometimes the same vowel can be spelled differently in different words. So you can use what you know about vowels to spell a word more than one way. You can write it out and then you can look and decide which spelling looks right. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that right now. So I've got my whiteboard ready and I've been thinking about these two words. I've been thinking about the word rain. This has been raining a lot. And I've been thinking about the word plane because I live by the airport and a lot of planes have been going overhead um, when we're out in our backyard. So the words rain and plane. And both of those words have the sound A, the long A sound. And so, um, I'm going to write them up here because they're actually spelled with two different spellings. So we have the word rain, R-A-I-N, and we have the word plain, P-L-A-N-E. move my whiteboard closer so that hopefully you guys can see. There we go. Um, so let's think about some other words that might have the long A sound and we'll see, we'll try this strategy where we spell it both ways and then we decide which one looks right. So um, I was thinking about um, being on a construction site and the word crane so a crane is like a big machine that lifts things like 
The crane lifted the beam high into the air. So I'm going to say that word again, and why don't you say it with me? Crane. Do you hear the long A? Okay, let's give it a try. So let's spell it with A-I, and then let's spell it with just long, with A blank E. So we could do crane, C-R-A-I-N, or we could do crane, C-R-A-N-E. Hmm. I'm looking, and this one looks kind of funny with the AI. So I'm pretty sure that it's A N E with A blank E. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'm a hundred percent sure at this point, because I've been looking at it now, that it's A blank E. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross out this one. Let's try it with another one. Hmm. Let's try the word explain. Explain. Like when you have a question or you don't know something and the teacher or your mom or your brother or your dad or your grandpa tries to explain it to you. So let's go ahead and try it both ways. So I'm going to spell it with A-I. So E X P L. A-I-N, explain, and then I'm going to do it with A blank E. E-X-P-L-A-N-E. -E. Okay, now I'm going to look at these. Hmm, you know what? One of these is jumping out at me right away as the way to spell it because I've seen it in books. It's this one. It's spelled with an A-I. So I'm going to go ahead and cross this one out over here. Should we try, um, I think we should try a couple more. So let's do this together now. So if you don't have your whiteboard and your personal whiteboard marker, um, I want you to pause this video and go and get it. If you don't have your whiteboard from your teacher yet, you can go ahead and get a piece of paper with a pencil, so go ahead and pause the video right now and go get those things so you have something to write with. Okay, now that you have your materials, I want you to set up your whiteboard just like mine is set up. So we're gonna have the two sides um, of your whiteboard and we can write our words on there. Make sure that if you have a whiteboard with lines, that you're using the lines to make sure that your um, letters are the right size. Okay, you guys ready? Here's another one. So I'm gonna say it, and then I want you to try and write it both ways, and I'm gonna do the same. Okay, so let's try the word remain. Remain, like when your teacher says remain in your seat. Or if you go on an airplane, they say, please remain in your seat. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it both ways. R-E-M-A-I-N and R-E-M-A-N-E. -E. You know what? I think I already know, but I want you to look at it and see if you can decide which way is the way to spell the word remain? What do you guys think? I'm looking at remain with an N-A-N-E. -E, and you know what it makes me think of? A lion's mane. And it, you know what? That's not what the word remain is about. So let's look at this one. R-E-M-A-I-N. Yeah, I've seen that in a book before. That's for sure the spelling. So let's go ahead and cross this out. Okay, here's another one. Are you ready? So I'm going to let you write your word and then we'll look at it together. The word is insane. Insane. Like someone is crazy. They're insane. Or something crazy happens, right? Insane. Go ahead and say it out loud if you need to. And go ahead and try writing it both ways. In same with an A I or in s a n with an A blank E. Hmm. What do you guys?
I stink. I'm looking, I'm looking. You know what, this one looks weird. So I'm gonna go with I-N-S-A-N-E, insane. And I'm pretty sure I read that before too, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross this one out. Let's do one more together. Ready? The word complain. Complain. Complain is when um, you're upset about something and you're saying all the things that are wrong. You're complaining. So complain. Go ahead and write it both ways and see if you can figure out which way looks better. Complain. 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 Hmm. This is tricky because I know that the word plain has an A blank E, but I'm looking down here and the word complain, that looks weird. Hmm. I'm going to think about it a little bit more. You know what? I've seen it written before with an A-I-N. So let's go ahead and cross this one out. And there we go. So when you guys come across words that have long vowel sounds, you can think about those, uh, the different ways that you can spell the long vowel sound. Then you can write the word both ways, um, or sometimes there's more than two ways. You could write it three ways or even four ways if that's how many um, spellings there are. And then write it out and then look at the words and see which one looks right. So as you're reading um, today and any time you're reading, watch out for those um, long vowel spelling patterns and just remember to take a look and read them carefully so that your brain can start to remember those long vowel spelling patterns and when you go to spell the, these tricky words with long vowels you can try it both ways and look and see which one looks right that's all for today you guys thank you so much for learning along with me and i'll see you soon bye